hold up. Here. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't. Because I haven't done shit to you and you're attacking me. Like I did that something to you. That was Jack. No, you didn't do anything to stop it? You didn't do anything to stop it. This is my answer. Fuck you. Oh, what the hell is going on? Hold up. Here. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't. Because I haven't done shit to you and you're attacking me. Like I did something to you. That was Jack. No, you didn't do anything to stop it? You didn't do anything to stop it. This is my answer. Fuck you. Boom. Damn. Hold up. Here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So. Girl rejected. Girl reject guys doing popolo. Oh. Shit. <laughs> it's crazy. I feared this day would come. Yeah, I thought I was going so hard in the paint because I hate women and because I just want to pander for men and because I just want to cape and because y'all thought I was just talking on the side of my fucking neck and it had no truth, no merit to what the fuck I was saying. Whole time I'm living this out and I know it works. But I feared this day would come so when you guys would finally see, oh, this is not the way. Oh, I should not be doing this. I need to do something differently. And now you're going to be stuck because for so long, you guys have been playing games with your lives, with your reputation, with your name. And now we're, we have reached a point to where even if you are reformed and everything, men don't believe you. Men don't trust you. Men are rejecting females left and right. Even if you are a quote unquote reformed 304. Okay. And for those of you guys that don't know what a 304 is, use a who. It's a who. Okay. Okay. I feared this day would come. Yeah, I thought I was going so hard in the paint because I hate women and because. Huh? Oh. Hello? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, so, I'm Milton. I'm Mia. Nice. It's said girls. Guy who said girls for her. Wait. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Milton has a type I have here. Thick, sassy, mm. sense of humor. Is there anything else you want to add to that checklist? That's about it. No. I mean. So what are you for work? Uh, I'm a school bus driver. <laughs> if it was me, I would give her a hug and then press the red button. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that was quick. Take your blindfolds okay. off and look at each other. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ask her, why did you reject me? Why did you? I just wasn't feeling the spark. Didn't feel like conversation was flowing, that's all. It's so so nice, nice to, to meet you, though. though. Yeah, absolutely. Got the Do you regret glass. it now that you see him? He's very handsome, but stay stay where I stand with. Just didn't feel the mm. No, because yeah, a total babe. <laughs> absolutely. I got the chair. Good job, good job. Pull the chair out. Hi. Hi. Give her a hug. <laughs> oh, I will give her a hug. Can I have a hug? Over. <laughs> no. Oh, there it is. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? I am really open to trying anything new. I'm pretty new to the area. Right now, it's mostly been like hitting as many different breweries to try as I can because I think that's really cool. Okay. Craig owns a bar. Oh, love that, Craig. I do. A lot of my time is spent around like breweries and wineries and alcohol and stuff like that. Completely get that. I just started a new job recently and I work in the beer industry now, so it's been a lot of stopping at bars and things like that. So okay. that's become a workplace for me. <laughs> and what kind of job do you have in the, the beer industry? So I work in marketing, so I'm a brand manager. So when you're dating, what age group do you normally kind of stick to? I usually go older, so my age range is usually like 22 to 32 kind of thing. Um, I'm at the bottom of that. <laughs> I'm 39. Okay. Uh, and then to be totally transparent, I have two kids and I'm divorced. Okay. So like throwing that all on the table. Appreciate that. Okay, yeah. um, I am so, so sorry. I actually have tried going out with someone with kids before and it just really is <laughs> right for me right now. <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> Yo, this guy was like. It's a lot. It's such a pleasure to meet you, though. Pleasure. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Damn. 
really thought I had it with the bar on her. Fuck! <laughs> you know how to use a date? Fuck! Listen, girl. You're so cool, girl. So we're going next Wait, only a hundred dollars. That wait, wait. They do it wrong. It's a guy reject girls for her weight, but it's the girl that reject the guy. What the hell's going on? Who's saying that shit? I got on well with Kaylee. She said, "Look, if this doesn't work out, we'll go on another date somewhere else." But my heart says, "Not Kaylee." And I mean, my heart, my heart says, "My, my date tonight." Hello, you all right? Yeah, yay. Yeah, not so bad. How are you doing? Yeah, have you had your day? Yeah. Um, we got on quite well. Did you? Yeah. And I feel a little bit bad now, that, but... What do you feel bad about? Look, I like chatting, like, all right. Did you say, yeah, you want to both see each other again? Mm, yeah. Oh, right. OK. No, I don't want to be asked for anything else. Like, don't be, uh, don't uh, be uh, stupid. Uh, I'm really happy for you. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, just go and enjoy yourself. I will do, I will do. No, yeah. But you're a gorgeous girl, you know what I mean? You'll find yeah. someone, you know what I mean? You know you'll find someone pretty easy. Yeah, no, like... <laughs> 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 oh, man. Damn. Nikki, how are you? You okay? Yeah. I got on well with Kay. Damn. Yabba nabba doot. 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 Yabba nabba uh, cause I'm just focusing on work right now. Yep. So you wouldn't have time to put a lady in your life? Uh, not the way I would want to. Yep. What's that way? What's the way you want to? Uh, I would want to be able to make her a priority. I don't think I can do that right now. So you're not scared of like missing out on the right girl? Let's Talk your shit. Missing now. We're not missing shit. As long as we get money. Say, you meet me today and you think I'm the right girl. You're not gonna talk to me because you don't have a lot of time like to meet me. So you're not gonna talk to me at all. Well, if you're the right girl, but I treat you wrong because I don't necessarily have the time to devote to you that I wanted to, <laughs> then I don't think I would do either of us a good service. Oof. That sounds really good. Usually, you guys are not like that. They they kind of lie and they kind of act like, oh no, I have time for you, and then once they. My son keep it 100, like the title said, so... They get what they want, they just kind of like disappear. But the first title I have in, the first video, the first clip, I think, am I bugging? Or the second one? It said, guys reject women. No, it's the girl that reject. Yeah, that nah, time. yeah, I just wouldn't oh. be involved. I don't think I'd be able to do that. so cool. I'm 29. Okay, okay. You have kids? Nope. You want kids? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, that's, that sounds good. So what do you do that makes you feel like you're too busy to be in a committed relationship? Uh, I'm just in transition right now. Okay. So I uh, graduated from grad school last year. Got a job in the field I went to school for. Okay. But it's not necessarily... You're not fulfilled? That and it's not necessarily paying me what I would hope okay. for it to. Uh, so I made enough connections in that industry to be able to like keep a foot in it while okay. I have a job that can support me like financially as well. So I Women are so delusional my son. and have such inflated ego. Women in my community and girls are almost conditioned to believe growing up that we need to be as educated as possible to keep our heads down and have the most successful careers as a doctor, lawyer, engineer, while simultaneously learning how to take care of a house and cook all of our traditional foods and take care of children, take care of elders, be generally well, well liked by everyone, know how to hostess. Uh, we need to be as beautiful as possible. We need to be as virginal as possible, have the least amount of baggage as possible. And then when we turn around 24, 23, they go, oh, well, you know, 
you're done your education and your career has started, it's time for you to find a husband. And then you look around at the men in the same community and you realize that all of the men from your age until 30, maybe even after 30, aren't even thinking about their future. They may or may not have gone to college, but they don't even have a career figured out. They don't have any of the things that you've been working your entire life towards, they're not even thinking about it. So if you do pick one of these men, you're already compromising on something I consider major. Um, you may or may not. Uh, on the off chance that you do find a man who at least has a career, uh, who's under 30 or over 30, um, they still come with all of the baggage that you were told your entire life you're not allowed to have. They're certainly not virginal and they certainly don't have uh, no baggage, no past relationships, whatever, failed relationships with a uh, woman that are outside of the community. What talking about? I got lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Or uh, they're divorced or they, you know, have like slept with all of your friends. Um, all kinds of baggage, all kinds of baggage I've seen. So don't tell me that these women, number one, are below average because they absolutely are not. In no respect are they below average. And then on top of that, you're calling these men average? I've already crossed off so many things that I'd have to compromise with. They're certainly not average. They are below average. And women are still accepting these men because there are no other men unless we marry outside of the community. So women take rejection Ish. really hard. hard. We hate it. Men take it really hard too with we, egos. Men and women take rejection differently. Right? Why do you think men take yep. it so personally though? Because when you say no, right, it kind of makes us feel like we ain't fine or handsome. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's a self-esteem thing. Yeah. We take that like, oh, she doesn't think I'm cute or something like right, that. It's like, right. no, nah, maybe she's just having a bad day or maybe she, there's right. thousands of reasons why yeah. you don't want to, but guys, we internalize it. Now, girls on the other hand, okay. you guys get upset. You guys take it personal. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys take it like there's something wrong with me. I just got done telling guys, no means no. Right. Right. And ladies, you don't need to give these guys an explanation. Right. Why can't it be the same thing? Why does it have to be you? Maybe mm -hmm. it's just where he is in life. Don't forget about it. That's a true. lot of guys don't want to really be in relationships either. Oh, women yeah. take it. Yep. If you wish like a woman right now, she won't be able to eat. <laughs> <laughs> she will get mad. She will curse at you. She will throw a pillow at you. But it is what it is, man. But us, when they wish like us, we just got to move on, man. Like last, like this morning, I got rejected. <laughs> Let me read the text. <laughs> that text was funny. I screenshot it and I put it in a Google Doc. Whenever I blow up, oh yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. Cause I'm ready for this shit. Okay. I, I said I'm free on March first. I said the date right, cause I said I tell her I'm I'm free on March first. I would like to take you out on a date. You know what she said? She said, I'm sorry, Evans, but I see you as a, my brother. Yes, bitch, uh, put me as a, uh, put me in a, in a friend zone, family friend zone. Like, what the fuck? But I'm not going to say nothing, though. I just left her on red, and then I'm grinding right now. So, see you in the future. <laughs> I see you in the future. I see you in the future.